What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel for another summoning session. I'm gonna be honest with you, I hesitate a lot to summon. Uh, the main reason is that we already had a little jack a few days ago and uh, who knows, at the end of next month we are gonna have Halloween, this is a, a holiday event and then probably we are gonna have a new limited hero, right? And so limited heroes uh, come on Miracle Wishes the first time. This is the same all the time, and so if I use my guarantee or my miracle wishes today, then I'm gonna have to pay more in order to get the limited hero, right? Uh, so this is why I hesitate to do it. So um, I don't know what to do. Uh, I want to select another hero and try my luck. If I select Marvel, for example, and if I'm lucky enough to obtain the new legendary hero directly, uh, on the first legendary hero, it's gonna reduce my guarantee and so I'm not, it's like I'm not gonna waste any miracle wishes for the limited hero, right? Uh, so I hesitate to do that because if in the other side I'm not lucky and if I pull the heroes, the selected hero here, I'm not gonna lower the guarantee and I'm gonna be far away t from acquiring the new hero, right? So um, t t this is terrible. This is a terrible choice. I think I'm gonna select Marvel because I already have exclusive five on Quinlan and uh, Belton. And I'm, I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna obtain one of them if I try to summon for her. I don't know, who knows, maybe I'm gonna get this hero I selected and then I'm gonna be fucked up, I, I don't know. And one more thing, this is really funny, but I don't know if you paid attention to that, but if you go on the Excellent and Supreme Wishes, now you have that icon here. And it says that all the legendary heroes have the same rate. Uh, that's pretty funny, right? Because we already know that in the past, uh, many heroes uh, such as uh, Jennifer, for example, or Vera, etc. These kind of heroes were dropping more than others, than top tier heroes, right? So maybe they changed that, or maybe the rates are the same for all heroes outside of events. So maybe next week on the banner, we are gonna have some differences, so pay attention to that next week. So, enough talk about that. Time to make a decision. I'm gonna put Marvel, cross my fingers, and summon, and hope that I'm gonna have that hero, the new one, on the first legendary. But before, have to talk about Aptoid. You wanna get some fun and buy some packs in the game? Then make sure that you are using Aptoid. Basically, all the packs using Aptoid are gonna cost less money to you, almost 5%, and you are gonna get some cash back, between 10 and 15% cash back using only Aptoid, and 5% more cash back if you are also using my promo code Actar written on the screen right here. Also, you have some promotion days with up to 10% more cash back bonus. Really interesting. And basically, with all your purchases, you get some credit, that you can reuse as I'm doing on the screen right here to buy some extra packs for free. If you have any question, feel free to contact me. My ID Discord is in the description of my video. And also, if you want to install everything about Aptoid, everything is in the description below. So, have fun with Aptoid. Let's go. I can reach one PD, but if I am lucky enough, I can cut. I don't know if you can see that through the screen, but at this moment I'm really stressed because imagine if I summon a Marvel, then I'm gonna fuck up my guarantee and then I'm gonna waste my miracle wishes, in fact.
The self pity is here. I need a lightning. Please. Okay, Quinlan, it's not a Marvel, so I still have my guarantee. Okay. Should I continue? I still have 90 wishes. It's not gonna reach the guarantee, but if I take a bit more, I can get a second legendary hero. Okay, I didn't cut, so I'm still gonna try it, so I'm gonna buy some extra pack and try to reach the PD to see the hero I'm gonna get. So I have 20 more. Let's try it and hope that it's gonna cut. I haven't cut, so I'll be back in a moment. Let's go, finger crossed, and let's hope that Marvel doesn't drop. I can't, I can't resign to summon. Imagine if I drop Marvel, my guarantee is gonna be fucked up and the 300 wishes are gonna be wasted. Let's go. Too late, I clicked. Oh, motherfuckers. He's not here. Not Marvel, please. A Mamouk. Whoo, so... I think I'm gonna stop my summon here. I wasn't lucky enough to obtain the hero, but I was lucky enough not to obtain any copy of Marvel, and so my guarantee now is at 1. That means the next legendary hero I'm gonna summon is gonna be the one I picked as the wish hero. So, if in 2 weeks we have a new limited hero, or in 4 weeks, then I'm gonna have my guarantee ready for that, and I'm gonna save a lot of money. This is more reasonable in my opinion, because as I said on my previous video, she is interesting in some specific content and teams but I at the end of the day I already have everything I need uh, for every content in the game and so maybe she's gonna get me a hundred million more damage on the weathering cost but I don't care I don't care that much it's it's not worth the price, right? So, uh, if in two weeks there is no limited hero yet, uh, I, I'm gonna uh, n just avoid selecting any hero and so if I uh, summon a legendary hero without anyone selected here, uh, it's not gonna change my guarantee. Uh, and so I'm gonna still keep my guarantee for the uh, for the limited hero when it's gonna came out, come out. So because in two weeks or in four weeks, uh, you are gonna have Halloween, this is a holiday event, and as a holy every holiday event, Generally, you have a limited hero, right? And we had Little Jack a, a few days ago, so probably it's gonna be a new one, I suppose. So, that was all for the video. Hope you've been lucky on your summons. Tell me what did you have in the comment below. Have you have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.